Atal had a major upset with his phone, so incredibly, his rival volunteers to make it for him. Well, they are friends. Now we're rocking and rolling, but Danny's back. So once the self-appointed father of foam has whipped up a storm, Atal applies the finishing touches to his dish. The poppadoms are topped off with a touch of tamarind chutney, and the soup gets a good head of Jason's foam. I'm almost ready, Jason. OK, Jason, go. They look beautiful. Where do you want these at all, on the side? On the side, please. Thank you. Happy. Go slow. Happy, very happy. And I can't thank you enough for the foam. I wonder what the judges will make of Atoll's pea soup and little puri. That's if they can tell it is soup. Oh, green tea. Mm. Summery. Oh gosh, that smells so little. delicately little. spiced. Hmm, puri, isn't it? Underneath. Ah. Oh. Mm. Very light, almost crumbly texture, so sort of slightly sandy. This is so interesting because pea soup is very British, and although he must have you know, a dozen flavours in that little puree, it's not one sort of brown mess. I never thought I'd hear you sing the praises of a dish with a foam on top. I know, and <laughs> this... Oh, fruit, sorry. Just oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Anything else? No, 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 it's fine. Spinach on my teeth? No, it was just the foam. On. Okay. I can see, you know, chefs at the Gherkin, I can see them you know, wolfing that down out with a certain amount of pressure. Yeah. This is a strong modern dish. I can see this at the Gherkin, and I think it does, it, I mean, really fits all the criteria. It is very modern. This is modern British cooking. And it leaves you fresh and geared up for the next course. So, a cracking start for Atoll. But, of course, he doesn't know that. The chefs won't hear the judge's verdict until the end of the day, when they've tasted all the dishes. Jason's starter is going next. He's putting together a very modern take on a plate of sandwiches. It'll be a stylish dish, but Atoll can't resist poking fun at it. So how are your American sandwiches coming along? Yeah, they're really good. I'm I was even going to throw a burger in there. Sounds good to me. There's a French element too, a croque monsieur garnished with truffles. He then assembles the BLT itself. Tomato consommé jelly is topped with bacon and onion cream, onion rings and bacon lardons. On Monday, Atoll thought that the lettuce velouté, or sauce, that Jason's serving alongside it tasted like spinach. So has he made any changes? Is the lettuce taste like lettuce this time? It didn't mean this time it tastes like lettuce last time. Did it? Then it's off to the judges. I think that's my sort of... Not weakish dish, but, I mean, I'm just a little bit nervous about it, that's all, Jim. It is quite a complicated idea, so it'll be interesting to see what the judges make of it. Mm. It's a cocktail party. <laughs> oh, look. Canapes. There we are. Oh, my goodness, what's that green stuff? It looks like health food to me. <laughs> I'm very suspicious. I think this is just such fun. I love the bacon. Ba bacon really? is really delicious. And these little crunchy nuggets of, of onion. Oh! That's a BRT, isn't it? Well done. Bacon, lettuce it's and tomato. It's a BRT. Was well, that tomato jelly at the bottom? I guess so. Makes you happy just to eat it, doesn't it? Well, if this is a BRT, what is that? Well, that's, what, that's what we've got to guess. Um, well, it's uh, cheese and ham. It's a croque monsieur with that. It's a croque monsieur. Mm. Ah! Oh. So we... we, we I must say, it's rather like doing the crossword, there, isn't it? You know, is. Series of clues but in there. A BRT is very American. And mm. the croque monsieur is very French. So we're having a, a this universal. Is, this is a nod to the international chefs, isn't it? I mean, this is as good as it gets for me. He didn't wake up one morning, forget to shave, go into the kitchen and make this dish. Mm. This is a dish that has been developed by a very, very smart chef. It's a seasonal, it's summery, it's innovative, it's pretty, it's got that sort of banquety wow factor. I'm never going to be able to eat a BLT ever again, because I'm going to want this. <laughs> Indeed.